Hi, welcome back to Everyday Race. So today I get on my $200 95 Ford Ranger. Turn the ignition key on. And I get this ABS and brake light. So another thing that it's doing, it's pretty strange, is that when I put my foot on the brake and I turn the ignition key in the on position, the ABS slide stays off until I let off the brake. And then the ABS slide comes back on. So I figured it's a pretty good opportunity to make a video how to diagnose the issue and how to fix it. So to diagnose it, I'm gonna have to pull ABS codes same thing applies to 93 to 97 Ford Rangers, probably like a 95 to 97 B series Mazda trucks. Could be the same for uh, Ford Explorers and uh, Mercury Mountaineers, but it's actually pretty simple. So it, uh, you can't use a OBD2 port. There's another procedure that you got to do. So. Enough talking, let me show you how to get it done. So step one, you gotta locate fuse panel. So there's a cover, it's actually says fuse panel. Stick your finger in there and crack it open. Careful, do not break these metal tabs because if you do, it's gonna make some noise. And you got to locate fuse number nine. There are actually numbers here, so it's pretty simple. It's this 10 amp fuse. Pull it out. You can use your fingers like me, or you can use some needle nose pliers or a fuse puller. Well, the fuse looks good. So next, you got to ground that where the the fuse where the left leg of the fuse goes closest to the front of the truck you have to ground it so let me find something you can you can use a wire I'm gonna use a test light I had it somewhere down here here we go here we go got me so first you gotta find a good ground source maybe there you go the e-brake pedal's gotta be Got to be pretty good ground. Next, you gotta make sure the ignition switch in the on position. Then you take a probe or the other side of the wire and you poke it in the middle piece. Do not poke the one uh, towards the back of the truck because uh, you're gonna you're gonna melt some stuff. So you gotta poke the one. And you gotta hold it for two seconds or less, about a second, until the ABS light starts flashing. So next you gotta count how many flashes. So you gotta wait till it stays on, so let's wait. Ah, right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's a code number twelve. So the next step is, I'm going to turn the ignition switch in the off position. So it quit flashing and then I'm going to install the fuse back in there. Because if I don't, I'm going to lose it. Put the cover back on. Alright, so what does code 12 mean? Well, code 12 means that the ABS module seeing a, a low brake fluid level during braking. Well, I'm not really doing any braking. So, the next logical thing to do is to check the simplest thing, which is a brake fluid level. So, let's check it out. 
Alright, so all you gotta do is locate the brake master cylinder. It's located on the driver's side in the engine bay. Uh, since it's old and the plastic isn't very clear, well, what I usually do is just move it like that and I'm seeing the level which is right below max. And we can open it. And there's enough brake fluid. See this float? If the float is moving, that's actual the sensor. See, it's coming up. That means... Oh, now it's stuck. Come on. Oh. There you go. So the brake fluid is not the problem. So next, it must be the sensor or what's very common on these old trucks is the connector itself. So it looks like it's a three wire connector. What I usually like to do is do a wiggle test. So I would wiggle connector and see if anything happens maybe it has bad connection so I'm going to turn the ignition switch in the on position all right so the lights are still on let's close the master cylinder and let's wiggle this connector and see yeah. Well, now the brake, now the red light is out. So let's cycle the key and see what we get. Boom. Just like that, we found the problem. So what it looks like is connector is not making a good connection with the sensor so as you can see some of that green stuff that looks like corrosion so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to clean it with the uh, electrical uh, cleaner and actually let's look at the sensor itself Move it out of the way. Make sure the pins are not bent. Well, the pins look to be okay. So, that means that Let's look at the back of the connector and uh, I don't see any damage. All I see is corrosion. So the next I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to spray some electrical cleaner and I'm going to plug it back in and see if that was it. Let's see what happens. All right, let's start the truck. Ha <laughs> ha, I killed the battery. All right, so I've cleaned the connector itself with the electrical cleaner. I've also cleaned the uh, connection on the master cylinder uh, even though it didn't have much uh, corrosion on it I figured you know while I'm doing it I might as well do both sides uh, I let it dry a little bit and then I plugged it back in and uh, let's find out if that was the problem and 
and uh, both lights are off. Let's start the truck and see what happens. All right, not a single warning light. Uh, brakes feel pretty good. Let me press on the brakes. All right, everything working like it was before. All right, so today was a good day. I was able to fix the brake issue or just a, you know, ABS warning light and a regular brake light. And it didn't cost me any money. And as you've seen, it was real simple. I followed simple diagnostic procedures, you know, pull in the code. If you have a check engine light or a warning light, there's always a way to pull a code or multiple codes. Codes will lead you where the problem's at. In this case, the problem was uh, uh, with the uh, sensor in the master cylinder wasn't sending correct data to the uh, ABS module. Well, technically it was sending it, but the module wasn't receiving it because the connection was bad. So it could, could have turned out pretty expensive fix you know, because from the look of it, it looked like I, I was going to have to replace the master cylinder. And after I would have replaced that master cylinder, the problem would, would have came back. Because the problem was not the master cylinder. The problem was that three-wire connector. That's all it was. So if, uh, if you have an ABS light on, follow the procedure. Find out what it is. If it's a code 12, look at that connector. Clean the connector. Uh, check the pins on the connector on the master cylinder. Those can can be bent, but most of the time they just get corroded because you know this truck is uh, what? Uh, this truck is pretty old. This truck is like 15 years old, 25 years old. Yeah, something like that. So things tend to corrode from age. So uh, if you like this video, hit a like button. And uh, like always, have a good day.